During this year's highway construction season, the Delaware Department of Transportation is making major strides to improve your ride. We're investing in projects that will enhance safety, reduce congestion, and accommodate growing traffic on our roadways. DMV is keeping up its commitment to use technology and innovation to streamline transactions and shorten customer wait times. We're encouraging the use of mass transit by increasing SEPTA and DART bus services and purchasing clean electric and propane fueled vehicles that reduce air pollution. Across our state, thousands of men and women are hard at work building and maintaining a transportation infrastructure that will help drive our economy prosperity for years to come. In Newcastle County, an innovative Divergent Diamond Interchange is under construction at Route 72 and Delaware 1. And a new expanded interchange on Route 141 and I-95 will significantly improve traffic flow. We're resurfacing portions of I-95, I-495, and many other heavily traveled routes. And work on the new US-301 is on budget and scheduled for a 2018 opening. In Kent County, the Route 1 Thompsonville Road interchange is nearly complete, and the new Westover connector is at the halfway point. New interchanges on Route 1 at Little Heaven and South Frederica are also underway, and work on a new interchange at Northeast Front Street in Milford will start soon. In Sussex County, a project to add a third lane on Route 26 is nearly done, and we're progressing on intersection improvements on Route 9 between Lewis and Georgetown. The Hearns Pond Dam in Seaford, that also carries traffic, is being rehabilitated, and our latest project to improve pedestrian and bicycle safety along Route 1 in our beach community is complete. These and many other important projects, both large and small, are possible today because of the leadership of Governor Markell and the General Assembly, who enacted a bipartisan funding package last year that makes significant new investments in our transportation infrastructure. In the short term, this means orange traffic cones and barrels will continue to be a common sight along our roadways, but please remember our work zones are there to protect the safety of our roadway workers while they improve your ride for both today and tomorrow, and that will keep Delaware moving forward.